Hello everyone, Ryan here. So I recently saw a movie titled It Follows. That's right, It Follows. Uh, this was actually another one that was recommended to me by Mindy from Mindy's Book Journey. And I really like this movie. I was surprised I ended up liking it as much as I did. And I mean, the way it starts is really great. And the story is is very well written. Um, main character is this girl, nineteen year old girl named uh, Jay, and she's, I guess you know, I guess you could say pretty much like a lot of other girls, you know, going to college for the first time, and um, she ends up dating some guy who one day when they go out to the movies and he starts acting weird uh, <clears throat> and then uh, what she does think is kind of weird because like he thinks that like someone or something is following him but really there's no like doesn't look like there's anybody following him <clears throat> so she kind of just like lets it slide and then uh when they go out again, they end up having sex in his car. And then after that, he, like, uh, I guess you could say, kind of kidnaps her and knocks her out with, like, some chloroform or something like that. And when she wakes up, she's in this, like, I guess, old parking garage or old warehouse or something. And he has her tied up to a chair. And then he tells her that because they had sex, that, that now there's going to be this weird thing, some like evil spirit or entity or something that now is going to follow her because he like passed it on to her, passed on some kind of curse or something to her. And he tells her that the only way to get rid of it is to pass it on to someone else. Of course, that involves uh, having sex with someone else. And, I mean, that's that's pretty much the, the bulk of what the story is. I mean, and it may sound uh, pretty simple, and like maybe kind of like, I don't know what's the right word, naive in a certain way or, <laughs> uh, but the way, I mean, the way it plays out in this movie, I really like how, you know, everything plays out. out. Uh, I definitely like all the actors in this. I didn't really recognize any, anyone in this movie. Uh, as far as I know, they're all relatively new actors. Uh, and also, I like the cinematography. The, the way each scene looks and is set up and, and the way the camera, the different camera angles. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It was one of, it was one of the first things that I noticed about this movie. And... I believe I don't know I don't know for sure if this movie takes place sometime in the eighties. I wanna say maybe late seventies, early eighties or something. I know definitely it's not the nineties. Uh can't be. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I again, to me it seemed like late seventies, early eighties or or maybe like mid eighties, I don't know. Uh but either way, I felt like uh, that the era, whatever era they were trying to portray, they did a good job of of depicting that in this movie. <laughs> um, and also, too, I, I like that this movie is not like a blood and guts kind of movie. Even though there is a little bit of that, mostly it's definitely much more of a uh, kind of intense kind of psychological thriller and yeah I don't know what else to say about it other than it's it's 
to me, I guess I, I could say the title definitely says it all. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's very interesting, very intriguing. I mean, pretty much. I mean, again, the main character Jay. Uh, it's every time she like looks around and she sees some someone looks like someone someone is following her. I guess that's supposed to be this evil entity, a spirit, or energy, or whatever it is. And so, yeah, of course, in the movie, it, it, it's never explained what this thing is supposed to be, or just you know that it can take on the form of pretty much anyone it wants to. And yeah, so I think that in itself makes this movie so much more unique and I mean in my opinion it's you know you know because it's it's not because of that you know it's not like a typical kind of horror movie where you see the the monster or the thing or the attacker or whatever running around and you know you know what to expect you know what to look for but with this Obviously, don't really know what to look for because this thing, it could be anyone. So, anyone and anything, I, I believe, pretty much. So, <laughs> yeah. I guess I, I could kind of ramble on and on about this, but also, too, I don't want to spoil too much of it. So, as far as the rating goes, I got to give it... Uh, yeah, I gotta give it a nine out of ten. Yeah, could say like eight point five, eight and a half, but yeah, deserves nine out of ten. So, if you haven't seen it already, I do recommend watching it, especially if you want to see something different. <laughs> yeah, so that'll do it for my review of It Follows. Thanks for watching. As always, the next time, don't forget to keep it real, keep on rocking. And peace.